So can I ask you, Manchel, first of all, I had to read this for my uh, yoga teacher training about 15 years ago, and mm. I didn't really read it. It was quite difficult to understand. Mm. And I've started rereading some of my yoga books, because they mean a lot more to me now than they did then. Mm. Can you explain what the Bhagavad Gita is? To, yes. To viewers? Yeah. The, the Bhagavad Gita is, um, and it's, some people have trouble with the Sanskrit, you know, the, the word Bhagavan is a name for God. Ah. And Gita means song. Ah. So it's the lovely. song of God. How lovely. Uh, and it's roughly 5,000 years old, um, originally in Sanskrit. And it's an oral tradition. I don't know exactly when it was written down. Some people say probably two and a half thousand years ago in Sanskrit. But prior to being written down, it was an oral t teaching that went through, you know, yes. generations and generations. As was yoga, wasn't it? It was a t yeah. teaching down through the generations. Yes. That? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so because it's that's important because the name Bhagavad Gita does mean song, mm. which in indicates, you know, it really is something to be, and it's a poem. So it's something to be chanted, uh, to be sung. And it's not terribly long, 700 verses, so the whole thing, if you just wrote it without any commentary at all, might be 70 pages okay. or something like that. Okay, and you teach the, the, the Bhagavad Gita lessons, how to, how to understand the Bhagavad Gita? Yeah, every week at Alchemy. Okay. Yeah, and it's essentially, you could say it's the, the underpinning, the, the sort of the background, the context for yoga. Yes. Yoga practice yes. Is, is, as it's taught in, in most yoga centres, is one aspect of mm. a whole way of life. Yes. Uh, and the Gita really speaks about a way of living. Actually, it speaks about many ways of living. It's, mm. it's, you know, it doesn't say you must live in this way or this way or this way. It offers a whole series mm. of options. Mm. Uh, and it's spoken by Krishna. Mm. 